Example 2.4, determine the current of the four ohm resistor. Same process as always. Color the nodes. And identify. what's in parallel slash series. Okay, so let's bring the circuit in. So here's the circuit. So the first thing I'll do is that I'll come in and I'm gonna identify my ground. And so there's only one source. And there's my ground. And then of course, this node right here is gonna be my, my 12 volt node. So here's my 12 volt node. So then I'm gonna start labeling the rest of them now. So here I go. This is an unknown node voltage. And I'm gonna call that guy A. Then, you know, to make it clear, I'm going to call the ground B. And then I'm going to, I have one more node, which I'll label in green. This is this node. And I'm going to call that node C. Now, the first thing that I'm going to see here is that parallel means two colors between two elements. So if I look at my red node, A, and my B node, which is the black, how many resistors are in parallel? Well, you could see that the six and the 12, so this immediately tells me that I got six, 12, which then tells me it's got to be since it's a half, so it's a third times 12K, which then gives me a 4K. Now, the other node that I'm going to be looking at is C. So if I look at the node between the C node, the green, and the black, you're going to see this. So between the C, the green, and the black, B, you could see that I have the four and the 12 in parallel. That means I have four parallel to 12. Since that's a third, it goes to a fourth times 12K. I'm then gonna get 3K. Now, the thing that you wanna see here is that what we wanna determine is that we wanna determine this current through this resistor right here. Right, so that guy has to be the current of the 4K. So I'm gonna to have to pay attention to where that guy lies at here. So if I redraw the circuit now, I'm not gonna use that resistor reduction. To simplify the circuit. So here I go. So I'm gonna take that four and the 12, I'm gonna replace it with the 3K. I'm gonna take that six and the 12 and I'll replace it with the 4K. So here I go. So then that means I have a 3K going this way. So now look at the nine is gonna be in series with that four and the 12. So here I go. So here's my 9K. And now this is the four parallel to 12, which is the 3K. If I look at the other branch, then the six and the 12 is only one branch with one resistor. And you could see here that this is going to be the six parallel to 12, which is 4K. So now if I put the rest of the circuit in here, I have this. So if I now put in the details, Here's what you're seeing. 
again, here's my ground. We know that this node up here, of course, is the 12 volt. We know that down here is my ground. And of course, here's my A node right here. And then this is my C node right here. So the thing that you wanna pay attention to here is that if you look at that 3K, that 3K is the circuit that's going to be, gonna be like this. going to be V3K here. So what I'm doing here is that you're seeing that I'm going to, I'm going to take this because I want to find what the current is right here. What you're seeing here is that the current I3K, nope, is that the current that I want? No, the 4K, excuse me. The current 4K lies here. So convert I 4K to the voltage of that 3K resistor. And because you see that the uh, 4 and the 12 are all in par uh, are in parallel, this is also the voltage of the 4K which is also the voltage of the 12K. So I'm, so I'm focusing on that 3K resistor. So let's keep going on. So I'm gonna to continue to reduce this. So now you could see that the nine and the three are in series. So if I do that, you're gonna see that the nine and the three are in series, which is a 12. So then if I look at this thing, I'm now gonna do this in one step. So there's a resistor right here. And so here's my 3K. So now look what happens. I have three plus nine parallel to three through uh, to uh, a four. And so when I look at that resistor, so that's 12 parallel to four, that's gonna give me a 3K. So when I'm looking at this, note that this 3K is different than this 3K. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna call this V prime 3K. So again, if I look at my nodes, you can see here's that still, here's my red node, here's my black node. And then of course, here's my blue node, okay? So now you could see here is that now V3K prime is proportional to V3K, which is proportional to the I 4K. So here we go. So note what I have here. When you look at this, note that I have a 12 volt being divided into a 3K and a 3K. So that immediately tells me by inspection that that's a three volt, uh, excuse me, it's a six volt for the VK prime. So by inspection, the voltage V prime 3K has to be six volts. So I now know what that voltage is. Now remember, everything's contained in that V3K prime. So that being said, so now I'm gonna start the process now. And the, the process goes like this. I now I start unfolding the three prime K resistor. So here I go. 
So I have, so I'm going to focus on that 3K resistor. I don't care about that other 3K resistor. I only care about this one. So if I start to draw that, I have one. So I have one resistor. And this resistor is 3K prime. And this guy has a voltage of V prime 3K, which is six volts. So if I look at my nodes, look how I'm going to unfold it. So there's my red. There's my black. And now I have to bring in that green node now. Here I go. So now if I look at that node, what you're going to see here is that because this 3K is really, I have a 4K. I this is really what? So this is going to be equal to, <clears throat> I have a, what is it? I have a, I have a nine and I have a three. And then I have this other resistor, which is a 4K. And so this guy up here is the 9K. And then this guy right here is the other 3K right there. So if that's the 3K, what we're going to see here is that this is the guy that we're interested in right here, right? So our focus is on this resistor. So again, looking at my nodes, just to be clear, you now see that the green node has popped up. So because everything is on this node up here, and this guy is ground right here. I don't care about that 4K. So what am I going to do? I'm going to just ignore that 4K. So if I now continue to move here, then what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to use voltage divider rule to calculate the voltage across the three volts. So I'm going to use VDR to get the voltage across the 3K. So if I do that, then it's going to look like this. So the voltage across the 3K is then going to be equal to 3 divided by 3 plus 9 times the voltage, 6 volts. And when I compute that, I get 3 halves of a volt. So now this is V3K. But remember, the 4K that we want is inside that 3K. So that means now I have to unfold the 3K to get to the 4 kilo ohm resistor. So here I go. So if I do that, I now have just focusing on the 3K. So here's my 3K, and we now know that the voltage across that 3K is 1.5 volts. But if I unfold that, just to remind you, here's that node, here's the black node. This is equivalent to a circuit that looks like this. I now have my 4K, I now have my 12K, and here's my 4K, and this is the current that we want. We want this current right here, which is I4K. So when I look at this thing, I know that green voltage because it's three halves. So now, since they're in parallel, I know that they have the same voltage, then here I go. So now I'm going to apply Ohm's law. which then says that the current of the 4K is going to equal to the voltage of the 4K divided by 4K, which then gives me 3 halves divided by 4, which gives me 3 eighths 
milliamps for the current of the four kilo ohm resistor.